Hey you guys, it's me, Linwood, and today I am going to show you how to tie a bow tie. And I know so many of you have been wondering how to tie these babies. I've been getting so many requests, which is why I'm doing it. So if you're looking for one of my original tie knot tutorials, like the tie that I'm wearing right now, you can do so by clicking the eye in the top right corner above. Um, I wanted to go ahead and break down some of the basics with you guys about bow ties and of course show you how to tie them. So I'm going to move a bit closer to the camera just so you guys can have the best look possible. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and take off this jacket. Okay, so some key things that you should know. Um, first off, I got this tie from AliExpress.com. It was like a dollar and eighty cents. So it's slightly different from a typical tie, and I'll kind of show you what those differences are. But for a dollar and eighty cents, you can't beat it. Um, so most of your ties, your bow ties, are going to have some sort of attachment uh, like this, where you can make that neck size adjustable. And I've got one here that I can show you. It's in black, so it doesn't typically film well. And there we go. So you can see the numbers in there and that's basically going along the size of your neck. So as you can see, the hole for 15 would be here. I actually have mine with a little quarter inch for slack and that's typically how I keep my ties. I add that extra quarter inch in there for slack. And that just allows me to kind of get it right nice and comfortable. Uh, this one here also has an extra clasp to be able to uh, adjust it or to take it off more easily if you are the type of person to tie it and leave it. Um, this is a Calvin Klein tie and it is much more expensive. I believe this one here starts at $25 and goes up if I'm not mistaken, but the beautiful texture, all that, you can't miss that, it's lovely. So anyway, uh, we have one very similar to it. This one does not have the number sizes so it's kind of like a trial and error or um, you know just kind of figuring it out and seeing what's going to work best for you um, if you have another bow tie you can get this one here and then just match it up which is exactly what I did so I'm gonna go ahead and take this baby off I'll show you guys how to tie it and we'll get started okay so once you have it adjusted to your next size you're just gonna take that baby and toss it right on over those shoulders just like so and I'm gonna go ahead and bring them cross them over like this so I've now you can cross left over right right over left it's no big deal um, but I'm gonna go ahead and cross over pull the whichever one I cross over the top with I'm gonna pull around and through much like a tennis shoe now I've got this basic type of style knot here once I have that I'm gonna take this top portion here the side that's facing the top which is the one I passed through and toss it over my shoulder okay so from here I'm gonna go ahead and take the remainder of my tie I'm picking it up and I want to make sure that it's on my uh, my left side here I'm going to bring my finger in here and I want that bend in the tie to actually face the opposite side so I'm doing it just like so okay and the reason why is because the bend on the back side is going to be facing the other direction so from here, I'm bringing my uh, piece from over the shoulder. I'm actually going to pass it down and in front of the tie, like so. We're gonna fold those ends in and match them up. And then from there, I'm looking for this little hole right here. That's where I'm going to actually take my tie. I'm going to insert, not all the way through, just slightly, just enough to kind of pull it through there. And basically what I'm looking for is that dip in my tie to be right in the center there. All right, so I'm trying to get this loop all the way through here. There we go. Okay, now once you have that, I'm gonna hold on pretty firmly to this portion. I'm just gonna snug this baby up by pulling here and it's going to tighten that piece that I tied around the center. So from there I can kind of do a little bit of adjusting if necessary and get it just right. I like to have mine pretty even on both sides, but the thing that I love about it is unlike the pre-tied bow ties, it does not have that perfect center here and it just kind of gives a certain look to that tie that's going to show that this is a hand tied 
tie and it's gonna get you a whole different level of respect. A lot of men do not know how to tie bow ties and it's actually relatively simple. By the way, if you're interested in this tie, which I have in this color and a couple other ones actually, um, I'll go ahead and I'll leave you some links in the description bar below so you can check out this exact tie and so you can check out the site AllyExpress.com because when I tell you guys, I buy so much stuff from there. I love that website and I'm not being sponsored to say it. I just love their site because of the fact that their stuff is so affordable and you don't have to break the bank uh, to look good. You can look good on a budget. So we're going to go ahead, straighten that baby out some. I'm going to toss my jacket back on so you guys can get the whole look. And there you have it. How to tie a bow tie. So I hope that you guys liked it. Please let me know what you think as always in the comment box below. And if you found it helpful, let me know by giving me a thumbs up, by sharing, by commenting. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I'm not asking you to do all of those things, but I won't beat you up for doing it. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and God bless. And you are fancy now. I'll see you next time. Bye. Uh, my hair was perfectly combed over this morning. I done went outside the wind and blew and look at my toupee now. It's crazy.